Any electronic device that transmits, distributes, or utilizes electrical energy creates electromagnetic interference, EMI, that can lead to malfunctioning and degradation of electronics. This increase in electromagnetic pollution can also affect human health if no shielding is provided. EMI shielding materials block the unwanted electromagnetic waves from reaching the target material. EMI shielding efficiency is proportional to the electrical conductivity of the materials. Metals such as silver and copper, due to their high EMI shielding efficiency, are a natural choice to mitigate EMI shielding issues. However, their high density, high cost, difficult processing, and susceptibility to corrosion limits the use of metals for next generation mobile electronic and communication devices. The EMI issues can be solved by utilizing a new family of two-dimensional materials called maxines, which are one nanometer thick and several micrometer long. Maxines are obtained from its parent's phase called max through the selective etching of a component. These are highly electrically conductive and possess several advantages like lightweight, flexible, in many cases resistant to oxidation, and easy processing due to unique surface hydrophilicity. Maxines are two-dimensional carbides and nitrides of transition metals such as titanium, niobium, molybdenum, and other. They were discovered at Drexel University as a result of our collaboration with Professor Michel Barzum, uh, who is the father of a large family of layered ceramics known as Max faces. Our former PhD student Michael Nagy produced the first Maxine titanium 3 c 2 in 211 by selectively etching the titanium aluminum carbide uh, sample uh, Mohammed is working uh, with uh, right now. And uh, by now we have more than 20 materials in this system produced in the lab and many more have been predicted to exist. Maxine polymer composites can simply be prepared by mixing the Maxine solution with polymer solution due to the high hydrophilicity of Maxine as shown in following videos. Maxine can be easily processed into thin films by several methods such as rolling, casting, vacuum filtration, spin coating and spray coating. These features make the Maxine ideal for applications where large surfaces are needed to be covered. Titanium carbide maxine used in our study is a two-dimensional metal with a high density of states at the Fermi level and electronic conductivity exceeding that of solution process graphene. It is a 2D metal with an oxide-like surface which can form stable colloidal solution in water without any surfactant and be easily processed into films and coatings. Titanium carbide maxines can have electrical conductivity as high as 5,000 siemens per centimeter, and shielding effectiveness can be tuned by changing the thickness of the maxine film ranging from 50 decibel for 2.5 micrometer to 90 decibel for 45 micrometer. Maxine has the highest EMI shielding effectiveness ever reported for synthetic materials of comparable thickness, which is originating from excellent electrical conductivity and strong internal multiple reflection effect. In this work, we explored three different types of Maxine and their polymer composite for EMI shielding applications. Titanium carbide Maxines possess very high electrical conductivity up to 5,000 gm per centimeter and 45 micron thick maxine film showed 92 decibel shielding effectiveness which is originating from excellent electrical conductivity and strong internal multiple reflection effect. In the very near future, 
Maxine is expected to find the EMI applications in many fields, including military, mobile, electronics, communication, medical and scientific equipment, aviation and aerospace vehicles, and other electronic devices. This is the result of collaboration work between our group at KIST and Professor Yuri Goguchi group at Drexel University. We hope this study is set to open a large family of new 2D materials, not only for EMI shielding application, but also for many other electronic applications. <laughs> <laughs>